Before I start this video, I want to say I am so sorry. This is so unacceptable that my, my lips look the way they do in this video. I am truly sorry. It's been a stressful day. I had three mental breakdowns. I am truly sorry. Uh, Please don't judge my lips. Honestly, I'm judging myself right now. So please judge them if you want to. Make a meme out of them. I don't even care. But, oh my God. Ugh. It's disgust. I'm sorry. There's like spit on my lip or something. Just, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. What's up? What's poppin'? And what's Gucci? Yeah. What's up? What's poppin'? What's Gucci? Okay. So the reason why this video is out a little bit late, I was filming a video that was a very serious video because I kind of wanted to make something serious reaction to that I want to kind of do with my concept, but I got very, very scared to really kind of just finish it because it's on a very, I would say, thin line of what I feel like you should do, you know? So I kind of just said, you know, I know it would do good and I, I know a lot of people will like it, but just morally, I would feel wrong about it. Not even so much as I'll be able to feel wrong about it, but just even getting it more out there, I'll feel wrong about it, you know? Um, but if you guys want to see it, you guys can say in the comments. I'll tell you guys what it's about in the comments. If you ask, I'll tell you what it was about. But, um, yeah, let's get into this video. What's up, what's up, what's Gucci? All right! So today, I just got this sent in, and I am by far so disgusted. People misplace millions of dollars in loose change every year. And their loss is this cheapskate's gain. Every day, Mark spends his free time hunting down dimes, nickels, and pennies all over Las Vegas. Number one, what we're not finna do, number mother one is what we not finna do is go to bathrooms in Las Vegas, one of the dirtiest places. Not saying y'all are dirty that live in Las Vegas, but it is extremely filthy, like LA is extremely filthy. And go to a place and dig on your hands and knees for nasty in coins. Even though there's a million dollars lost every day in coins, don't mean you will find a million dollars. You won't even find five dollars. If you find dollars five dollars that is a good day for you sir whatever you're doing right now stop it wash your hands and let's go on and log out for me baby mark's an interesting guy he's a really good person um, but obviously he's a extreme cheapskate these are my favorite the penny loafers from back in the day but the interesting thing about this and this is how you can really tell and pardon the smell oof, that's me uh, what, uh, uh. Sir, I know he just smelled his own foot, but that, just to know how cheap he is and he was just walking on the ground, just imagine him not bathing. I just imagine him not bathing up in his uterus and up in his ol's hole and just, you know, getting really in there like swimwear and boo. So it just really affected my drip. It really affected my drip, Karen. That, that, that just made me want to vomit. Mark keeps his grocery budget under $60 a month by disregarding expiration dates and spending no more than a dollar on any single item. Tortillas, 50 cents. Power bars, 50 cents. Cupcakes, 50 cents. Sir, does, do you not care, sir, about your insides, about your to testosterone about anything, sir. Do you not care about that, sir? Sir, let me ask you, sir. Why the would you eat expired? Why the would you eat expired? Let me ask you, sir. Sit the, down and let me speak. Because I don't think you understand what you're putting in your body can actually harm you, sir. I don't think you understand. Oh, you do understand? Well, you don't even care. You're about 65 years old. Corona's outside walking around, playing with people and and they don't give up who they're harming and you're over here eating old cow milk from 1655 sir please I beg of you get some common sense sir get some common sense sir get some common sense sir 50 cents cupcakes 50 cents peanut butter and jelly one dollar but his thrifty habits don't stop there he pays next to nothing for water each month 
by refusing to use it in his own apartment. I end up spending about a dollar, at the most a dollar fifty on laundry, because I throw one or two pieces in with everybody else. I do not appreciate that. That is so disgusting. That is so disgusting. That is so disgusting. Who wants somebody else's dookie infested drawers in with their drawers? Sir, again, sit the down. Sit the down. Sit the down. Sir, this makes me want to, you know, just strap myself up against a damn car and let it drive me into a stop sign. Because this makes no sense. If literally a laundromat is literally a dollar twenty-five. You can put your in together, sir. You're already not using the water at your house. Who would you, you just go to strangers? You, sir, next, next, next caller! Next caller! These are the scrubs from the clinical trials. These all represent a part of history. For example, these are the Ebola I studied. This is my favorite. Everyone was panicked when my friend and I did this study. Never tested on humans or animals before. We were the, the first two in the country to have it done. It's $5,000 for a week. I understand a hustler's mindset. I understand that mindset, sir. I really do. I see your eye on the money and the money on your mind. I see you eye in that bag. I see you think about it, sniff the bag, and touch roach the bag. I see that, sir. But getting a disease that has not been tested on anybody yet, sir, that's just plain idiotic. That's not getting the bag. That's getting the bag and fumbling it. Let me tell you something, sir. Don't can do it again. <laughs> Don't do it again. But that 5K, get that bag. <laughs> the two studies that I'm waiting on that I have not been in yet is the flatline study. This is a really good one. What they do is they stop your heart for one minute, but you still breathe. Stay there 14 days, pays $25,000. To me, $25,000 is not a lot of money, especially not a lot of money for you to literally for 14 days, sir, for 14 days and you're just still breathing, you know the headache, the migraine, and the pain you're finna experience? And what if you do that and God gets mad at you and send you to hell? And then what? Now you're stuck, looking like Chuck. Sir, it ain't worth that, playboy. That little $25,000 that... You might not get waking up. You, no, that ain't even worth that, Playboy. Second one that I'm really anxious and really excited and waiting to do is this testicular study. What you do is you go in and you donate one of your testicles, they replace it with an artificial one, and when you check out after 14 days, you get a check for $35,000. I think it's that hard right now for you because it doesn't look like it. You don't spin anything. It does not look that hard. Sir, you telling me you selling your testicles. I ain't gonna even lie. I would sell my testicle in a heartbeat if somebody said they'll give me $35,000. No, I wouldn't. Yes, I would. No, I wouldn't. Yeah, you would. Nigga. Sir. I might have just. Ah. So, what's motivating you to want to go under the knife and be part of the study like that? The money. Hmm. But I feel again. Here's what I'm saying: thirty-five thousand dollars to to take one of your precious gold mines out, the most precious thing on your body for a man. Um. It's not worth it. I'm gonna need at least a mil, a mil. Because number one, I mean, I know this man is about old as dirt, but, and he's probably not thinking about having kids. Um, but me, I want kids, I don't know. Like, I don't know. So let's think about what you just said. So we're going to, uh, lose one of our testicles. We're gonna replace one of our testicles for the money. Yes. So, um, so, what I'd like for you to do is take off your shirt. Okay. And I'll come back in and uh, we'll do a brief exam. Okay. Okay. And also, I got to check out your gyms. Okay. So, we'll <laughs> take a look at that too. Okay. okay.
never do that to my two best friends. I just want to take a quick listen to your heart. Okay. Never get chest pain or shortness of breath? No. Your heart sounds regular, and I don't hear extra beats. Now, what I'm going to also say is you do have the man boob thing going on. So basically what you've got is the what we call gynecomastia. And <laughs> Sir, you don't have to make up a name called Gala Korea, whatever. It's fat. Understand, I have man boobs, he has man boobs. We are morbidly obese, sir, we understand. So if you go get your testicle yanked out as part of this study, that it can make the man boobs bigger. Okay. And it can make your testosterone less. So that would be okay. not in our interest. Okay. Next caller! Next caller! Cause you ain't talking about nothing, bitch. You know, examine both testicles. We rub them between our two fingers. Okay. And we just palpate around. Okay, now we'll get lab and EKG. Okay. And that'll be part of your pre-op evaluation. So Yuck. The risk to you is, is pretty significant. I'm not endorsing the surgery. Mark's test results are well below the acceptable range set for the clinical trial. <laughs> so basically, he did all that rubbing and doubling for no reason because he ain't getting that damn money. That is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Watch. Uh, okay. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. I guess I don't know. What's up? What's up? My name is Gucci. Hey, hey, hey. Today, we out of here, baby.